What's up, everybody? It's Billy Nair Sophie, and today you tuned in for another session show vlog. You know how we do it. We're going to be shopping with Trill World. Y'all stay tuned in. Hit the like and subscribe button right now. What up? Straight? What's the deal, man? It's Trill World, man. It's Trill World. It's Trill World. <laughs> Such a show episode, you know what I'm saying? You know how we do it, man. What we about to do today? We about to shop. We about to shop, you know what I'm saying? You know, as artists, we we have to keep up our image, you know what I'm saying? And, and uh, if we creative, we don't like to wear the same thing every day, you know what I'm saying? You, you know, know what? You know what's so crazy, though, about that? What? I had this jacket on in a dope-ass interview that I just had, so I feel like this is about to be a dope-ass interview. Let's get it. Jacket, Let's get all. it. <laughs> Let's get it. Where you get your jacket from? Where did this come from? I think I got this out of Zara. All right, Zara, Zara. All right, Tia, let me get the fit check right quick. Fit check. Oh yeah, I like it. Okay, the colors. Okay, yeah. Let's get it. Let's get it. Yeah, Y'all stay tuned in. What's your go-to fit like when you don't necessarily know what you're wearing, but you still want to be crispy? My go-to fit is usually a pair of pants that look crazy. Some dope ass pants. Something a, a, a piece that looks crazy. Fucking fashionable as fuck. And the rest of it I really don't be giving a fuck. I ain't even gonna lie to you. I'm like I'm a fashionable artist, but I don't give a fuck. I'm like that type of fuck. Like I'm I'm gonna sell this whole everything that I got going on once I get up there on that on that stage and perform. Exactly. No so, matter what you got on. No matter what I got on. Period. But a go to me. I love a hat. I love a pair of glasses. I, I'm sick. I left my glasses in the car. I you want to go hat. get them, bitches? I'm definitely going to get them. <laughs> but, uh, hat, glasses, chain watch. Those be the things that I pay attention to. What else? What do I be wearing? What the fuck do I wear? <laughs> Y'all stay tuned in. No matter how many punches I take. Photo shit. <laughs> yeah. I'm still trying to make sure we stick to togetherness. Yeah. The only way we're going to blossom out this month. Real talk. If we're working together. Real and talk. And we're putting each other on. And we networking. How, what Issa Rae said something like network across. Don't network up. Network across. Like yeah. People that's around. Yeah. We be trying to go and fuck with everybody who got other things going just to use the cloud off their back. Yeah. Stick together. You never know. You could be building a motherfucker up to be something greater than they even thought they could be. Probably. Right. Real shit. So, yeah. Yeah, and to bring you back to your first point, how you were saying it don't matter what you wear. Yeah. As long as you know what I'm saying, you got that C yeah, word. Yeah, yeah, you got, got that C word. You, you know what C have. word I'm talking about? What C word? What's that? What's that confidence word? word. Oh, I was about to say. I'm what was you thinking? Crazy. <laughs> no, I'm a coochie? Just... <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got that big coochie energy. <laughs> You can walk into a fucking showcase and look like the biggest bum there and snatch the baddest mm -hmm. bitch in the room mm -hmm. in real life. Mm -hmm. I've done it plenty, mm -hmm. many, <laughs> too many times. Hell but yeah. confidence, man. They, some people are mistaken for whatever they want to mistake it for. I tell you, be humble. Don't. Do not ever be humble. It's who the fuck are they? <laughs> for real. Remember who you are, bro. They have that confidence, like you said. That shit just... Brings out the everything and everything. Yeah. Yeah. Real tough. Y'all stay tuned, man. Y'all gonna see us at the next stop. You work at the mall, don't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what store you? What store you work at? I work at a store called Psycho Bunny. Oh it's, shit! She work at the Psycho at Bunny. At the Psycho Bunny. It's fitting. <laughs> <laughs> if you know, you fucking know. Y'all tap in. My favorite fucking spot. I ain't. It's I strong. Mean, I be mean, in North acting crazy. What section? Which which section do you shop from usually? Whichever usually, section just got the fly shit that catch your eye. Honestly, I ain't gonna lie. I, I'm usually, I, I'll skip you in the men's section. I don't really be over in the women's section too much. Especially not? not in Nordstrom. This just be a lot of blouses. Yeah. And I ain't prince. Yeah. <laughs> I may be pretty like them, but I can. Um, <laughs> so I usually uh, shop in the men's section. I ain't gonna lie to you. I got a secret, y'all. Come cook. I be in the kids section like a mother. <laughs> but usually what pieces catch my eye, I have been on some, like I mentioned a few times, pieces. Yeah. Always, like like those certain things that's going to make the outfit pop, like mm -hmm. whatever I put it together mm -hmm. with. Um, lately I've been on jackets. I love jackets. That's been completing my look. 
because I usually don't complete the look. Like no matter how fashionable I thought I was before, it was always just something missing in the outfit. As of late, I just been putting everything together. Put that shit on. Put that shit on, goddamn. Give me something on the front, give me something on the back. I like little pieces, like detail, like I said, detail. Yeah. Sweet shit that, that people not necessarily paying much attention to. And this busy pop out. I don't need it too printy. I hate too, too much print. But good detail on some shit. Yeah, I'll take it. I like this shirt right here. Yeah, I fuck with this shirt. I walk past this shirt every day in debate when I was <laughs> Michael Bunny, uh, snow, tr snow trunks. What's wrong with me? Swim trunks. That I just actually had them bitches on for my uh, summer preview. <laughs> uh, shout out to Do My Ladies from this motherfucker. My homegirl Kaylin, she puts that show on every month for the ladies, representing for everything as far as fashion, as far as performance goes, as anything entrepreneurial. She she's gonna spotlight you, highlight you, and let everybody know what the fuck you got going on. And I actually had some trunks on in that show, so yeah, go check that shit out too. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah, it is pretty. You can wear that bitch around your head like Basquiat. That'd be hard as fuck. I've been on my trying to get on my grown 30 plus type shit. So I have been shopping in these areas a little more often than 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 before. Um I like a good tailored right. a good tailored suit. I actually got a suit I need to get tailored that I got from here uh, a couple of weeks ago. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm I'm pour myself doing that too. Yeah. Sometimes you gotta put your, you know, put your grown up shit on. Mm -hmm. Getting that one bag. Say ambiguity, ambig, ambiguity, ambiguous. That's that's who I am. That's my whole aesthetic in real life. It's like when I first popped out on the scene, I was young. I was like 25 stepping into Detroit scene and I was a little harder like, like okay I'm gay you know what I'm saying so yeah. I thought that meant I got to dress a certain way so I started being a little a little rougher nowadays I know exactly who I am can't nobody tell me who the fuck I am and if you got a problem with who I am that's your issue how I rock out it's your issue but now I'm more uh and drive and androgynous than anything you see me and it's like like i said it's like a mystery like damn is she gay is she not i, I slang dick <laughs> <laughs> and it's understandable completely yeah because with, with our with our community it's like you gotta be an either or that ain't how the game go in real life you don't have to be anything you don't want to be you be yourself heavy dick is somebody watching this like she ain't yeah. like Back to androgyny. <laughs> Back to androgyny. It, I think that a lot of women, as far as our community, needs to embrace that side of themselves. A lot of them be hiding it and putting it on for their girlfriends or putting it on for the world, for real. It's okay for you to live in your masculinity and your femininity. It's fine for you to be balanced out. It's the yin and the yang of life. It's duality, bro. And that's exactly who I look at myself as, duality. I'm both sides. However, I want to play. You ain't gonna see me in a skirt or no shit like that. But you're gonna know my ass a little fat sometimes if I feel like it. <laughs> Y'all stay tuned in. Oh, where this are we at? Yeah, this where we at. Coordinated, coordinated.
know what I'm saying? Cause that's, you know what I'm saying? That's what we do. You know? I walk out with like five bags and everybody be like, you got a shopping problem. You gonna be crispy though. You gonna be crispy. No. I, look, I look at shopping like as as long as I'm shopping, I'ma always be fresh for when I perform Facts. for interviews. I'ma always have something Facts. to wear. I ain't never, Facts. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and you can write it off on your taxes. You got an LLC. I wrote That's my, true. I wrote all That's my, true. I wrote my shit off on my taxes. I wrote my my. All my big clothes purchases, I'm like, yeah, if I'm paying six hundred dollars for a jacket, no facts. I'm that's, gonna that's write this off. Gotta, that's the way you gotta do this shit. And you can do that. You that can do that. LLC, get your LLC and educate yourself on how and what you can do, because that's some information for me. I forgot about the fact that you can write off shit, mm -hmm. or even looking at our wardrobe as mm -hmm. artists, mm -hmm. as investors. Yeah. Because that's the shit we do. Yep. Studio time. Yep. All that Fucking shit. Clothes, write all that shit. The gas, the gas the that gas you spent. To go to these all of this shit. I'm trying to see if I want the shoes or if we about to get something to eat. You want something? I am hungry. Hungry as fuck. Lucky. All right. I just ate, but if you're following me, <laughs> you know how this go, man. I'm gonna eat all day. I'm gonna eat again later. And I'm gonna eat my ear. And she had a little fat, <laughs> little fat white, but oh, 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 oh,
I'm a mystery, and that's in more ways than just my look. As I, I did this shit for so long, and people thought I was a rapper. You feel me? They wouldn't even acknowledge me as a singer. There's still people to this day. After I get off the stage, they'd be like, I like your rap. <laughs> you are amazing up there. And it's like you're acknowledging the amazingness of it all, but you're still calling me a rapper mm -hmm. because of the aesthetic. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure of mm -hmm. that. I don't be dressing like an R&B nigga all the time. I've been trying to incorporate that in a lot more stuff. Looking more R&B. Yeah. More, you know what I'm saying? Fitting to the style, but I figure who my supporters are, who my clique is, they'll understand. Like, they'll get it. It ain't, it ain't for everybody to get because I have had people tell me that like you need to choose a lane you gotta choose a and I'm like bro why for what reason do I gotta choose a lane for real for real why can't I get up here and serenade these bitches and get up here and go crazy and throw some bars everywhere cause it's it's possible yeah. you know what I'm saying and why I gotta look like an R&B singer all the time cause that ain't who I wanna look like all the time like I am an artist I want to be who I want to be mm -hmm. most of the time. Mm -hmm. I don't follow nobody's rules if you haven't noticed yet. <laughs> I don't follow nobody's rules, bro. Y'all hit the like and subscribe button. Yeah.